Oh, wow. Um, up on the ceiling, you can see there's names up there too. People, were, the prisoners were actually crawl, like climbing, mm -hmm. and they would etch their names up there. Some of them actually fell and died. Why? Just, just to put their names up there? Yeah. yeah. They just thought I'd put their names up there, so they would literally scale this cage. All right, I had to get this set up. Hey guys, all right, so we are um, doing a private tour. This is uh, me, Chris Case, and Elizabeth Saint. And I'm gonna give you guys a kind of a, a live tour around this jail. Look at this place. All right, I'll turn you around so you can see. Oh, sh hold on, there's like chains in my face. Someone's been in there for months. Say hi. Hi. Right. Wait, what's happening? That's solitaire. Go back Ooh. in there. Ooh. <clears throat> they had to stand. Ah. Sorry. They couldn't sit, nothing. They had to stand up there. Oh my god. Yeah. But what if, like, you're not a thin person, you know? Right. No. Look at this. This is a small box. Yep. Here. Oh, that's right. They had to stand up. Oh no. Uh uh. That's sad. It is. This is. It sucks so bad. <laughs> Ooh. I mean. Here's that guy I was talking about, actually, the Jake Bird right here, too. Next, a bunch of people to death. Ooh. He's Made myself almost, dizzy. Uh, popular one right there. Mr. Jake Bird. Oh look, Dillinger's partners in crime. <gasps> A little bit fangirling right now over this, actually. Ashley, nice to meet you. Sorry, I'm live right now. <laughs> no, you're good. He said they were. Lots of mat. I'll read your comments in a minute, guys. I'm sorry. This is kind of fascinating, actually. Four freaking floors, guys. I don't think I can do this. I'm kidding. I bet. I'm glad I wore a sweater in here. It's cold. Yes, it is a fingerprint kick. <clears throat>
Really? She just said they haven't touched the upper cells since like the 1960s, so they're like time capsules. You guys know this is right up my alley. We're going. I have my camera here, but I don't think I'm gonna film, film. Ooh. Where is it in Indiana? Oh, okay. <gasps> okay, well, I have a trip. So this one doesn't rotate with the one there in Indiana. Oh, okay. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm nauseous. <clears throat> Hey, John. Hey, Mama. Look at all these cigarettes. I cannot imagine having to be in this thing and then it starts to road. I get, I'm like dizzy just like standing here imagining it. I like feel Gross, just when imagine. Just to have the door shut on you and you can't get out, like, no one. Uh, uh, no. I'm not for sure. I bet pretty slow. Yeah. I'm excited for when they finally get it. You rotate again. It's going to be impressive. Well, the gears are upstairs. I think we can get in the back and see all that. What do you do? That guy. Yeah. Brown walks to gallows with steady stride. Charles Kelly. What's up, Mr. Brown? He doesn't look like that bad of a guy. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Brown? Can I come in? Looks like you've got a spoon. What are you reading over here? Love lies bleeding. So, hold on, I'm about to turn y'all around a second. So, um, again, it is me, Chris Case, and Elizabeth Saint here at a place called the Squirrel Cage. It is a, an infamous rotary jail in Council Bluffs, Iowa. And there's a lot of incredible history here. Um, I will go ahead and let you know that there is a school coming in to tour this place. There's a lot of little kids that are about to be in here, so it may be kind of loud, but I want to go ahead and try to keep, I'm going to keep going up and give you the tour of the time capsule prison cells. That's where they kept the juveniles at. The juveniles in here? Yeah. Oh. At the way top, there's actually the apartment here. Don't use, guys. It's not hooked up. Self-made woman. Cigarettes and milk. We got it all. I mean, you know? 
it's not bad. It's not bad in here. And we got Halloween decor. I feel I could really make this place homey. See what some of the little juvenile prisoners wrote. 19, let's say 1969. Jerry R. February 7th. Jerry Reed was here, guys. This is actually kind of sad to be honest. Like, imagine child delinquents, you know, having to be locked up in these tiny little cells. Granted, they had a good view oh look at their shower oh why does that little romper make me sad can you imagine hold on we're about to do something all right there i don't know where elizabeth and chris are but i'm setting my camera down we're about to close ourselves in here oh shoot actually i don't know if that's gonna fall through or not I just want to see what it would feel like to have to take a shower in this place. Ooh, we got this. So here's the shower. Again, tight, close quarters, yet homey. I'm just kidding. That's all that sounds horrible. I'm going to try to be a little more. Actually, I, you know, I'm going to show you guys what I'm trying to maneuver here. This is a piece of plywood. I don't know if, if there's like a hole behind it or whatnot, so I'm not gonna go um, there. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, um, this is what it would be like to shower in this old rotary prison. Yep. Looks like they have one of those strobe light things already set up here. All right, we're gonna come out of the shower right now. Tell me if you guys see anything weird though, because I feel fine now when I first, like when I was in that rotary area, I guess, because I was imagining it moving around. Oh, hello, little baby. Nurse Nancy. Oh, that freaked me out. All right, guys. So we are far from done. Oh, don't forget the camera, Ashley. We are about to go upstairs. Let me see where they are. Hey, Elizabeth, were you upstairs? Did you go upstairs? Okay. Um, I'm going to show you guys. Good to see you too. Good to see all you guys. This makes me so happy that you're here. So I know it's out of my average time of being online. Yeah, I know the dolls are extremely disturbing. Um, I have not had the chance to investigate this place at night. And as you guys know, it is the month of October. So everything's really booked out. Um, we're not done yet, but I'm gonna take you upstairs. Again, there's a tour of a bunch of kids here, but it's fine, we'll be all right. Um, I just wanna show you guys around this amazing uh, jail because it is infamous. Like, I've heard of it so much. Um, and anyway, so we'll be filming it another time, but it will be appearing on uh, Ghost Adventures tomorrow night. So if you guys watch that show, then tune in because you'll see this world cage on Ghost Adventures tomorrow. But um, we're going to be leaving here in a little bit after I take you guys to the time capsule cell tour uh, or rooms or whatever time capsule cells uh, to go to the Villisca Axe Murder House. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Fantastic. No, not you. Look at <laughs> Chris. Chris, uh, Triple C's Crazy Crossroads is my buddy. He's another Urbexer bud. Um, oh, check this out. 
I'm assuming, I guess this is all closed. Hey, Chris, yeah. is this all closed off to us? Yeah, that's closed off. Um, okay. have, like, I don't know if they store stuff out here. But, okay, uh, but we can go upstairs, upstairs? Yeah, there's an infirmary right here. <sighs> Another, like, custody would stay there. Upstairs, the warden's apartment. Can we go in here? Yep. This is the trustee's room? Yep. Oh. Yeah, thank you. You're awesome. Yeah. Wait, what's hold on, let me see that. Okay. <laughs> Can we untie untie? Could you untie that? Unscrew that, please. Sorry. I'm about to show you guys something really cool. I need the light. Okay, you thank you. You're All right. awesome. All right, hold on. Okay, or, or so I think it's cool. I don't know, I'm gonna turn this light up here. Oh, okay. Oh. This is where I would hide out. Oh. Okay, trustees quarters, guys. Watch your step. Those are, I'm assuming, oh God, that's nice. Halloween. Uh, so as you can see, this is my sink where I brush my teeth, wash my face, myself, some cigarettes, you know. We all have our vices. I'm just kidding, I don't smoke. Um, this is where I dry my socks. This is where I play solitaire. Nobody wants to hang out. I'm cool with that. This is where I shower when I feel like taking my clothes off. Most of the time I just do a quick little, you know what, bath in the sink. Um, and this is my view. Welcome to Ashley's crib. I'm ridiculous, I know, I'm stupid. All right, we're gonna go upstairs to the time capsule cells. Yes, this is a prison. Um, this is, well, yeah, it, you'll, you'll see it in the description later too. I'll add more to the description so you'll know what's going on. But as you can see from the title of the video, this is the squirrel cage jail. You guys ready? I don't know what's in here first though. Oh, I can't. The infirmary? Okay. Ow. It's tight squeezes here. So, this is where you go when you're sick, when you need a tooth pulled, you know? Any vaccinations. Just the old uh, <clears throat> shower. Some bones. The doctor's medicine bag. Again, don't use the toilets. An amazing medicine cabinet. Check it out. I really want to open the drawers, but I don't want to be rude. You know what I mean? Oh my god. They have stuff in here, guys. What the hell? Rib, rigs, obstacles. Holy shit. Oh, someone's coming. Someone's coming. Someone's coming. What is this? That's a needle. Somebody's right there. I'm 
going to get in trouble. Oh, my God. I'm just, like, silently praying in my head to not let these drawers fall out. Because that would be my luck. Look at those needles. You guys think they've been used? Boric acid. A bunch of stuff that I don't know. My mom's on here. Mom, you're a nurse. Tell me what you think about all this stuff. Needles and whatnot. There's a spider. Where? You don't freak me out telling me you see a spider in here. What is this? I'm gonna make myself sick, aren't I? Okay, it's just you. I'm just being a deviant here. I'm being bad. I'm going through drawers. <laughs> People are like, stop that. Okay, keep looking. <laughs> what is the, uh, ooh, more needles. Like so many needles. Powders that I don't know what it is. Um, <gasps> what is that? Salt rocks? No. What is it? Guys, what is this? Oh my. See, this is the kind of stuff that I like. This is what my people watching like. Urinary testing. Ooh. Anybody got a UTI? <laughs> Anybody got a UTI? I can test some, I can test some urine here. Oh, this, st oh, that stinks really bad. Pee on it. Oh yeah, I'm sure a lot of freaks out there would love that. All right. What are these pills? I don't know. I'm curious. More needles. Huh? Oh. Okay. Well. Anybody need some shock therapy? Broken femur. Tell me this stuff isn't amazing. All right. Now, I wanna look in the doctor's bag because I wonder if they have anything in here. No, it looks like it's just stuffed with things. <sighs> um, little peapot. Look at this van. I know this is a very abnormal tour of this jail. Normally people are all focusing on the ghosts and the hauntings and creepy factor and I'm all like look at all this old needles and stuff. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go upstairs. I still haven't even made it upstairs. It's the warden's apartment. Chris and Elizabeth are probably like what the heck I don't is this? She, she the hell is this girl doing? <clears throat> You're probably in <laughs> My kind of girl. <laughs> she disappeared. Here's the mechanics for us. Okay, hold on. We cannot miss the fine details. We'll get to that in a second, and then we're gonna show you guys how they. It's how they move the the cells around, right? Yep. Oh, look at these amazing pens. No, we're not investigating right now. It's there's tours going on, and so this is just a tour, and we're looking through all the old stuff that nobody seems to really care about. 
I like to focus on the details of the things that are still here, because look at this kind of stuff. I mean, you don't see stuff like this every day, unless you're in an urbex or in like weird stuff like us. Hold on, there's something in here. Okay. Oh. a lot of historical stuff in there that yeah. they're still going. Okay. So they store all that. This is amazing though. Um, identification cards, like old life insurance stuff, theater amusement. Yeah, Kat, we're filming upstairs that they just got, um, yesterday they, they found uh, old fingerprint cards. Yeah, that like prisoners. Cards, uh, yeah, prisoners that were here. So they're getting that all taken care of now. And Look at this. Friday so cool. evening. This is in perfect condition, guys. This is ridiculous. Friday evening, October 4th, 1912. Yeah. This place closed in 69 is when it shut down, so. Like, carnival, coronation ball, a season of 1912. Um, passed for Mr. Dipple and wife. Mr. R.J. Dipple. Until December 31st, 1911, unless otherwise ordered, Chicago Great Western Railroad Company. Wabash Railroad. Union Pacific, 1911. So Mr. Dipple, look at this stuff. Does anybody know who Mr. Dipple is? I'm gonna have to do some research now because I feel like I'm getting a little personal with him. So this is going back, these are older. We started with 1912, we're back in 11. The Atchison, Topeka, Santa Fe. Uh. Railroad Club of Kansas City. Frisco Lines. This guy was awesome. I'm gonna look him up. Thank you for letting me violate your personal things and space, Mr. Dipple. This is amazing. All right, cool. Private something com, this isn't even his, it's not even his name. All right, we'll come back to the other stuff. So let's see, show us and tell us what this is. That is where they, that was the mechanics of it. How it operated. This is how the cells down there spun around. Is that an old bread bag? Yeah. That is an old bread bag. So they said upstairs, which is where we're at right now, has not been touched. Well, it's been touched, but it hasn't been like messed with since 1969 when the jail closed. Um, so a lot of this stuff is just left untouched for now. And they're talking about working on getting it rotating mm -hmm. again. Would it be dangerous to go in here? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, I mean it's probably not dangerous, but I just do want to end that. Okay. I don't even know if we're supposed to be in it, but that's fine. The camera above me can see me, so. <laughs> what? I said the camera above me can see that I opened it. I don't really care. I'm going right here. Oh, well, the camera above us is going to see that I'm going to totally take a picture in right. this area. I wonder if that's Mr. Dipple. I'm just kidding. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Guys. Look at this. What's up, fam? Speaking of what's up, fam, I really miss my friends, UGUE. If you're watching, I know Chris is watching. I miss you too. I miss you guys. I'm coming to Florida and we're gonna get together soon because I miss you guys. It's been too long. Yeah. Gotta get the fam back together because that's what it's all about, right guys? 
Don't explore alone unless you're doing an alone challenge. We all gotta stick together. Oh my God, look at this. I remember using one of these as a young lass. Wow, that brings back memories. Whose dog tags are these? I can't really tell the name. Des Moines, family photos. Please do not touch. Please do not touch. Sorry, I'm the worst. They saw me too. I didn't hurt anything. Handle with care, guys. 1943. I feel like I lived in that time, guys. Driving of the Golden Spike, historical event for all of you ass. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look how, you gotta be very careful. I wish I could use both hands and gloves. I really shouldn't be getting the oils from my hands on this, but they leave it out here in the open. So, um, no, these are like legit newspapers, not replica. I'm just gonna not mess with it. This is the honeymoon suite. This is the newlyweds honeymoon evening attire. <laughs> As you can see, he's got a suit, his fine suit pressed. An extra quilt because it gets cold. Get that boot oil. Ooh, look at this. So I watched this guy on YouTube called um, New England Wildlife, some, I don't know, but he was always opening really like decades old foods and items and stuff like this. And I legit watch his videos probably every night before bed because I'm obsessed with old stuff and opening gross old things. As you guys know, who've been here watching my videos for a long time, you know I love to open those old gross refrigerators. So maybe I'll start doing more of that kind of stuff. Yeah, I can't find a date on it. And I know usually with these, uh, they didn't date um, prior to certain years. And then I know prior to what was it, like the 60s, there's no like barcodes or anything. So that's one indicator you can usually tell by era. Here's a diary, standard diary. Hold on. this up. I'm gonna use both hands gently. I'm just gonna let you guys know if it's worth it. Holy crap! Okay, well there's nothing written in here, but it's worth it. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, let me turn you around. There we go. Look at this. Beautiful condition. Beautiful condition. 1886 diary.
fascinating. You know, I think, you know, I know like, okay, so obviously as I've told you guys already, like Ghost Adventures and stuff came and filmed here and their episode will be airing from here tomorrow night. Um, but I, I just feel like this place is always discussed and talked about as just a haunted place. Like, oh, it's so scary, it's haunted and stuff. Like, yeah, I mean, okay, it is. But at the same time, look at the history in like, in this place. Like, look at the stuff that they've like, that they have like I mean you don't see a perfect condition diary from the 1880s every day so I mean I just feel like more people need to really focus on the finer details of a building like this yeah yeah right. I do too April I love all of these old old items look at this hat do not touch okay I won't touch the this stuff because I do worry about the oils from my hands getting on things and ruining them even though they're just kind of out in the, to the elements. Look at those umbrellas. Umbrellas camisoles? What were these called? They're not umbrellas. Are they cam camisoles? I don't remember. I could touch this, it's glass. Parasols, thank you, parasols. Parasols. I admit when I'm wrong, which is a lot. Look at that. Look at these. Oh, I wanna put them on, but I'm not going to. Oh man. Robert, Eva, and Margaret Heller, jailer, cook, and daughter. Aww. Thanks, Logan. All right, next room here. Oh, Elizabeth scared me a bit. <laughs> what? Oh, I read the, on the back of this one about something else, but I didn't see. Look at this, guys. <clears throat> it just shows the times, you know, like how people phrased things. But look at that. The war ends. This is... I just worry about stuff like this being out, you know, where people yeah. are touching it. And like I was saying earlier, like the oils from our hand, like I just, yeah, like I know, look, just, yeah, be yeah. careful. Yeah, I want to smell it. I love the smell of old, oh God, it smells so good. I love the smell of old newspapers and books. Look through here, there, this is from 43, so the war is still going. Yeah. This is from 33, so it's, we're not even in it at that point, you know, which is crazy. Record of Japan, victory and in defeat. December 7th, 1941, Pearl Harbor. Philippines, 1941. China. Wow. Okinawa. Look at that. This is an incredible condition, you guys. MacArthur's historic return to Philippines with invading forces. I do not rest until islands are secured. A long first step towards final drive upon Japanese homeland. I would love to have this newspaper. The war is over, the victory is won.
Council Bluffs, Iowa, right here. Already we are hanging out the welcome sign for our boys and girls returning from service. We're all more than glad to say, here's your job, soldier. This is where these newspapers are sitting, where anybody who's touring this place can just come and get it. This is like the end of World War II in a local newspaper, and it's just here. But who am I to... Thanks, guys. It's so hard with one hand, because you want to be careful. YouTube is probably going to hear this song and be like, demonetize. That's fine, whatever. It's for the love of it. We're about to go back to the jail cells here in a second. I think this was it, right? Up here? Just the Gettysburg. Oh, God, they got the heat on up here? Oh, I'm already burning up. Hold on, I didn't get to go through these drawers. The kids are on their way up, apparently, so I gotta hurry. Oh, look at this. Nothing's written, but it's beautiful. Okay. No, nothing. No, nothing. I think they're ready to go. We're gonna go to Velisca Axe Murder House in just a minute and I'm gonna actually film something and I'll go live again. Ooh, the book that gave Iowa its name. October 1935. <laughs> it smells so good. Wisconsin with a map. There's even a map. All right, I'm gonna leave this be, I guess. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm burning up. Whew. We're gonna make our way downstairs. Did I show you guys? Yeah, I showed you guys that, the infirmary. Yep. Um, and we're gonna go back down here. I think I took you in this apartment. No, I didn't take you in this apartment. I think they're getting annoyed with me because look at these. An armadillo. that most of this stuff just needs to be behind glass. I just can't believe, and I know there's signs that say do not touch, but there's also people like me who can't help themselves. And um, it really needs to be protected. There's the Bible. And we've got Sabrina. <laughs> this totally looks just like Sabrina's dress, except black. Um, beautiful. And I think... Oh my gosh, guys. I know I'm such a nerd. Uniforms, dresses, 
shoes. I'd rock those. This is where the baths take place. First aid. Oh God, I'm not gonna, oh. Oh, this is the, guys, <laughs> this is the actual restroom. <laughs> I'm so stupid. This is the actual restroom. This is the, <laughs> look, the first toilet that works. All right, I'm getting out of here. I am done made a fool out of myself. Here, here's the kids. They're all in cells, pretending to smoke cigarettes. So this place is incredible. Thank you so much. It is, I loved all the details that you guys have put into the place. Like all of the little, um, like the historical artifacts, like things that you guys have, you know, kept and collected and found. It's, I mean, that's my favorite part. It's just like all the little needles and stuff. <laughs> I know. We've had the press. We've tried to stage the building as if the, it was the last day that the jail was open. Yeah, it's it was great. Upstairs was incredible, fascinating. The uh, newspapers, uniforms, dresses, mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. The lawyers. Yeah, that's super. Yeah. Department. Come here if you get a chance. Come here, take the tour. Um, try to schedule an investigation if you like doing that. Um, if you're just into the history or even people like just like the urbex part of it like I mean obviously it's not just straight urbex you're not going into an abandoned building but you're going into a beautiful historical building where hold on I'm try to turn you around again where you see stuff like this and I saw mr. Uh, Mysterious Circumstances podcaster dude, Justin, was on here. Um, he did a whole three-part series on Dillinger. And I'll show you really quick because I just walked back in here. I kind of fangirled a little bit when I saw Dillinger's partners in crime. How can you not when you just invested, like, what, three, four hours into that guy when you see stuff like that. This man loved a woman named Tammy. So, oh, that's sad, unfortunate. Um, so anyway, one real quick last little sweep through. I'm gonna show you. You guys, these were actual, where actual prisoners climbed and etched their names into the walls. Because um, earlier when I came through at first, there weren't very many people on here and I kind of moved through pretty quickly. But um, a Matt Elder really likes putting his name everywhere, apparently. There's some really neat stuff on the walls here. So, um, and I'll show you really quick too. I mean, the effort, the effort it must have took. Oh, there's some a class tour. But the, I wish I could zoom in. Oh, I can zoom in. People actually apparently climbed up there, climbed these cells on the, along the outside, and to carve their names into the ceiling, and, would have, and I guess fell and, and died. But this whole part is a rotary, like the, they don't, it doesn't rotate anymore, and apparently the only one that still rotates is in Indiana, but they're trying to get it rotating again, and you can see here, I'm gonna get all dirty on the ground, but this is what I do. Um, he has my light, so I can't show you underneath, but it's pretty fascinating, the mechanics of the whole thing, and I would love to see this in action. So all these cells would rotate, and that's how they'd close them in. But uh, I'm definitely going to make my way to Indiana to see the one that still works. So, yeah. 
pretty neat. There's some more names on the ceiling. Um, yeah, so again, guys, we're not investigating today. Obviously, there's tours and stuff. This was just a tour. But um, if you're interested in, I guess, the more paranormal side of it, uh, tune into, um, I guess, the Ghost Adventures episode would be tomorrow night. And they filmed here. It'll be on this place. Um, if you want to stick around for a little bit longer, we are headed over to Villisca, Iowa, to the Villisca Axe Murder House. And it'll be me, Chris, Elizabeth Saint, and Johnny Hauser. I'm not sure if anybody else is meeting us there. But um, we're going to go through the history and show you some visuals. I know I already did a video and did like a tour and stuff. Um, but again, it's the month of October. Nights are full. But it's still you know, a great place to always revisit and we'll have more people there so we can um, answer any questions you guys may have in the moment, you know, and yeah, I love you. I appreciate you. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you're, you know, interested enough in me to be around. Um, bye guys. I will see you here in just a little bit. Hit that little bell button so it'll alert you when I go live. just some jailers and sheriffs I suppose that died here or and I don't know I would read but I don't have time they're kind of they want to go so all right I'll um wait I'm locked in <laughs> how do I get out of here I don't know uh anyway oh, okay I'll see you here in a little bit.